वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व डैश टेन सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलास्टिक कर फॉर द बीम यूजिंग कोऑर्डिनेट एक्स स्पेसिफाई द स्लोप एट ए एंड मैक्सिमम रिफ्लेक्शन ई आई इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम वेयर पॉइंट ए हैविंग अ रोलर सपोर्ट एंड पॉइंट बी हैविंग पिन सपोर्ट एंड देर इज एक्सटर्नल मूवमेंट एम नॉट that is applied at point a the total length of beam is l so you have to find the equation of elastic curve using this coordinate x and then you have to find the slope at a and maximum deflection so let's start with the solution so as we know that uh, equation of slope uh, elastic curve can be defined by using this equation e i into d square v over d x square is equal to movement so we will find this movement at a coordinate x for that we have to remove this support at point a as well as if we remove this support at point b so you can see that this force will be upward force and that will be equal to rb and this force ra will be downward why because this uh, movement is causing this to bend downward so this force will be upward and this force will be downward it are in order to make it equilibrium so first we will find this r a and r b by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium that sum of all movement about point a is equal to zero and taking the counter clockwise movement as positive so about point a one movement is m not which is clockwise so it will be negative so minus m not the other movement will be equal to rb into perpendicular distance is l and this is producing clockwise so it will be positive so plus rb into l is equal to 0 so from here you will get rb is equal to m not by l now you have this rb so you can move to find ra by using sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and force upward taken as positive so ra which is downward so minus ra plus rb which is upward and rb is m not over l is equal to 0 so again from here you will get ra is also equal to m not over l now you have this ra and rb so what we will do is that we will we will cut the beam at a coordinate x and for that i have to draw the free body diagram here at this end we have ra which is downward so it is equal to m not by l this distance is x where we have cut the beam and when you cut the beam you will be having a shear force v and you will having a moment m let this is point 1 so moment will be m1 and shear force will be v1 okay so we have external moment m not is all again here so this is m not so what we will do is that we are interested to find out this m1 so i will write sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about this point 1 one moment is this m1 which is clockwise counter clockwise so it will be positive so m1 the other moment is this m0 which is clockwise so it will be negative minus m0 the third moment is due to m not by l into perpendicular distance is x and that is also counter clockwise so it will be positive so plus m not or l into x is equal to 0 so from here we will get m1 is equal to m not minus m not x over l okay so if we take m not is common so we will take m not so we will left 1 minus x by l so this is the equation of movement that we will used here in this equation of elastic curve 
ओके फॉर फाइंडिंग द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलास्टिक कर ओके नाउ वी नो दैट ई इंटू आई डी स्क्वेयर वी ओवर डी एक्स स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू एम सो फॉर एक्स फॉर एक्स कोआर्डिनेट और एक्स कोआर्डिनेट वी हैव एम वन सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू ई आई इन टू डी स्क्वेयर वी ओवर डी एक्स स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू एम वन एंड दिस एम वन इज इक्वल टू एम नॉट इन टू वन माइनस एक्स बाई एल ओके सो इफ यू इंटीग्रेट इट इंटीग्रेट इट सो यू विल गेट ई आई इन टू डी वी ओवर डी एक्स will be equal to m not will be constant and if you take the integral of 1 which is equal to x minus integral of x by l will be equal to x square over 2l plus there is there is a constant of integration which is equal to c1 let this is your equation number 1 now again integrate it again integrate equation 1 so what we will get is that e i into v e i into v which is displacement or deflection is equal to m not now it will be equal to x square over 2 minus x cube over 6l plus c1 x plus c2 so we have two equation equation 1 and 2 c1 and c2 are unknown constant of integration and they can be found by using boundary condition so we will apply boundary conditions to find to find c1 and c2 so first boundary condition is that at x is equal to 0 we have deflection v is equal to 0 so you can see here x is equal to 0 and there is a roller support so we here deflection will be equal to 0 so what we will do is that put in equation 2 why equation 2 because equation 2 contains deflection so if you put x is equal to 0 so this term will be 0 this will be 0 this will be 0 and v is also 0 so it means that c2 is equal to 0 so we will get c2 is equal to 0 so this is the result of putting first boundary condition now the second boundary condition is that i will write it uh, at x is equal to l we have v is equal to 0 again we will put it in equation 2 let me show you the condition here x is equal to l and there is a pin support at this point so we have deflection will be equal to 0 so when you put it in 2 so we have e into i into 0 is equal to m not into l square over 2 minus l cube over 6l plus c1 into l and c2 is equal to 0 so it will be like this so 0 is equal to uh m not l square over 2 minus l square over 6 plus c1 into l so from here you will get c1 l is equal to minus m not and we take lcm 6 so it will be 3 l square minus l square so c1 into l is equal to minus 2 uh Minus two m not l square over six. So 
c1 will be equal to minus m0 l over 3. So this is the value of c1. Now you have c1 and c2. c1 is this and c2 is this. So what we will do is that put c1 and c2 in equation number 2 because it will give you equation of elastic curve so we will get ei into v is equal to uh, ei into v is equal to m naught into x square over 2 minus x cube over 6l c1 is minus m naught l over 3x and c2 is 0 so this is this equation will define you equation of elastic curve divide ei on both side so you will get equation of elastic curve will be m naught over ei into x square over 2 minus x cube over 6l minus l over 3 times x so this is your equation of is required equation of elastic curve you can also find the equation of slope if you put c1 will be equal to 0 so you will get uh, dv over dx which is equal to slope will be equal to m naught over ei into x minus x square over 2l and c1 is also there not 0 minus m naught okay so if we take m naught is common from this term so it will be minus l by 3 so this is equation of slope now we have determined the equation of elastic curve we will find the slope at a so our next part is equation of slope at a so at a we have you can see that due to this the beam will bend like this clear so what we will find is we will find the equation of slope the beam will bend like this okay so we will find the slope at x is equal to zero we have slope which is equal to theta a okay so we have this equation this is the main equation so i will choose another color black color this is the main equation of slope okay so put x is equal to zero so we have slope will be equal to theta a so theta a will become theta a will become equal to um, this x will be zero this will be zero and it will be equal to minus m naught l over 3 e i 3 e i so this is the answer of our second part slope at a and the last part is maximum deflection so maximum deflection which is equal to v okay so for maximum deflection what we will do is that maximum deflection is the maximum deflection v max at maximum deflection we have theta is equal to zero because you can see that if this is the maximum deflection for example so here theta will be equal to zero because tangent to this curve will be theta so theta will be equal to zero and we will be having a maximum deflection so we do not know the exact position of this maximum deflection where it will occur so for that i will use this equation 
dv over dx i will write it again dv over dx which is equal to theta is equal to m naught over ei m naught over ei into x minus x square over 2l minus l by 3 so if you put theta is equal to 0 here so it will be equal to m naught over ei into x minus x square over 2l minus l by 3 so either this term is equal to 0 or this term equal to 0 so we will make this term will be equal to 0 when you take this it will give you 3x square minus 6lx plus 2l square is equal to 0 since this is quadratic equation so if you solve this you will get x is equal to 0 0.42265l so at a distance of 0 0.4 0 0.42265l we have uh, slope will be equal to 0 and we will get maximum deflection now put this x is equal to 0 0.42265 times l in this equation so when you put it so you will get you can do it by yourself so you will get v which will be equal to v maximum and that will comes out to be minus 0 0.062 six four two m naught l square over e i so this is the maximum deflection for the given loading so in this way we have solved our three portion the equation of elastic curve which is this one and equation of slope and then we find out the slope at point a and we have maximum deflection of the beam and that was all about problem 12-10 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching